AI just wrote its own code, walked on two legs, and diagnosed diseases better than doctors, all in the past year. We're not talking theory. These are real-world breakthroughs already reshaping how we work, live, and learn. In this video, we're breaking down the most important AI technologies that will define the next five years. From agentic AI and neuromorphic chips, to synthetic media, post-quantum security, and ambient intelligence. Stick around, because by the end, you'll not only know what's coming, you'll understand how it's already being used in devices, industries, and daily life, often without you realizing it. Number 10, AI agents are becoming autonomous powerhouses. AI is evolving from passive tools to autonomous digital agents. Instead of waiting for prompts, these models now plan tasks, make decisions, and act independently across apps and systems, a shift known as agentic AI. Open source projects like AutoGPT, powered by GPT-4, execute multi-step tasks like research or coding without ongoing user input. In March 2024, Devon, developed by Cognition Labs, showed how an AI could code, debug, and deploy entire applications on its own. Meanwhile, Google's Gemini Roadmap is steering AI toward managing workflows across Gmail, Docs, and Android, from scheduling meetings to summarizing documents. While still experimental, these systems point toward a future where AI agents handle complex digital tasks with minimal supervision, working alongside humans rather than simply responding to them. Number nine, micro LLMs and on-device AI are exploding. As large models grow more capable, a parallel trend is unfolding. Micro LLMs built to run directly on personal devices without internet access. In 2023, Google launched Gemini Nano, a lightweight model running on Pixel phones, enabling features like voice memo summarization without sending data to the cloud. Apple is expected to introduce on-device LLMs in iOS 18 with a strong focus on privacy. Meta's LLama 3 and open source models like Mistral 7B and Phi 2 are also optimized for low resource deployment. According to IDC, by 2025, over 75% of enterprise data will be processed at the edge. These smaller models enable fast, private, and offline AI, critical for smartphones, wearables, and vehicles, making AI more accessible and integrated into everyday hardware. Number eight, Neuromorphic chips are reinventing the brain in silicon. Traditional AI runs on GPUs, but neuromorphic chips are pushing a new frontier by mimicking the human brain's neural behavior. These chips process data using electrical spikes, allowing for parallel, low-energy computation, ideal for real-time systems. Intel's Loihi 2, IBM's True North, and newer designs from research labs like MIT CSL are leading efforts to embed this architecture into robotics and sensors. In 2024, MIT researchers showed improved tactile feedback in robotic hands using neuromorphic design. Though still in early stages, neuromorphic computing is being tested by defense and aerospace sectors. By 2030, it could play a major role in enabling AI systems that operate efficiently on device, learning from their environment without needing cloud power. Number seven, Synthetic media is redefining creativity and content. AI now creates not just text, but also videos, voices, music, and digital personas, marking a major shift in media production. This synthetic content, once niche, is becoming mainstream. In February 2024, OpenAI released Sora, a model that generates photorealistic video from text prompts. Companies like Runway, Pika Labs and Synthesia are also building platforms where users can create video content with AI avatars, voices, and animations. Analysts at Gartner predict that by 2026, 80% of creative content will involve AI in some way. From marketing to entertainment, synthetic media is now used for ad campaigns, news footage, and even virtual influencers like Lil Mikella. But it's also raising concerns. A fake AI-generated image of the Pentagon explosion in 2023 briefly impacted markets before being debunked. Tools for detection and watermarking, such as Adobe's content credentials, are now emerging, but by 2030, 
distinguishing real from synthetic may become increasingly difficult. Number six, AI in healthcare is moving from assistance to autonomy. AI is reshaping healthcare by moving from supportive tools to systems that contribute directly to clinical decisions. One breakthrough was DeepMind's AlphaFold, which mapped over 200 million protein structures, accelerating research on diseases like Parkinson's and cancer. In diagnostics, Google's AI breast cancer screening model, featured in Nature in 2023, outperformed human radiologists on accuracy and consistency. The UK's NHS is currently piloting AI-assisted screenings to relieve pressure on radiology departments. AI health assistants are also gaining traction. Google's MedPalm 2 scored over 85% on US medical licensing exams and is being trialed in hospitals. Apple is reportedly developing health-specific LLMs for use in tracking, analysis, and wellness monitoring. These tools are especially valuable in regions with limited medical infrastructure. McKinsey estimates that AI could reduce global healthcare costs by up to $360 billion annually by 2030. Number five, scientific discovery is being supercharged by AI. AI is accelerating scientific research by simulating experiments, generating hypotheses, and identifying promising breakthroughs before physical testing begins. In late 2023, DeepMind introduced GenoME, an AI model that predicted the stability of over 2.2 million new materials, 380,000 of which had never been synthesized. These discoveries could improve battery storage, semiconductors, and solar energy. NVIDIA's Earth-2 climate simulator uses generative AI to build high-resolution models of weather systems, droughts, and long-term climate change. It can run forecasts faster and in more detail than traditional methods. In energy, companies like Helion and Commonwealth Fusion Systems use AI to optimize nuclear fusion experiments, reducing trial time and resource costs. These systems aren't replacing researchers. They're compressing the timeline for innovation and expanding what's possible in labs worldwide. Number four, AI-enhanced robotics are no longer just sci-fi. Robotics powered by AI are becoming practical, adaptive, and general purpose, and are now transitioning from R&D labs to real-world deployment. In 2023, Tesla unveiled Optimus Gen 2, a humanoid robot capable of stable walking and basic object handling. While not in production, it signals long-term plans for household and industrial use. Startups like Figure AI, backed by Microsoft and OpenAI, are training robots with multimodal AI to perform tasks in logistics and office environments. Boston Dynamics continues to enhance robots like Spot and Atlas with autonomous navigation and voice command response. Amazon, meanwhile, has integrated custom AI models into its warehouse robots, enabling them to sort, move, and manage inventory without human input. As capabilities expand, these machines are being tested in roles from caregiving to disaster relief, while sparking ongoing debates about regulation, workforce impact, and safety. Number three, post-quantum AI security is already underway. As quantum computing advances, today's encryption methods could become vulnerable. To stay ahead, researchers are building post-quantum cryptography, and AI is central to that effort. In 2022, NIST selected four post-quantum algorithms, including Crystal's Kyber and Crystal's Dilithium, for standardization. These are designed to resist decryption by quantum systems, and AI is helping to test and stress these defenses. Google has started integrating post-quantum protections into Chrome using hybrid encryption paired with AI-powered anomaly detection. This approach helps assess how future threats might emerge in live environments. Cybersecurity firms are also deploying LLMs to detect malware patterns, monitor IoT traffic, and prevent breaches in real time. As quantum hardware matures over the next decade, AI will be key in ensuring that digital infrastructure, from banking to defense, remains secure and resilient. Number two, AI-driven personalization is taking over education. Education is also undergoing a shift as AI introduces tailored, adaptive learning experiences that adjust in real time to each student's needs. KonMigo, developed by Khan Academy using GPT-4, offers students personalized tutoring, real-time feedback, and guided problem solving. Instructors can track progress and assign targeted help, turning the traditional one-size-fits-all model into an adaptive system. 
Duolingo now uses AI to generate custom lesson plans and personalize grammar hints based on user weaknesses. In 2023, they released Duolingo Max, which uses GPT-4 to simulate conversations and explain mistakes interactively. OpenAI is also working with schools to pilot classroom assistant tools, helping teachers generate lesson plans, quizzes, and student progress reports. While students use the same model for research and writing support, UNESCO predicts that AI could close education gaps in remote regions by delivering real-time tutoring in multiple languages, even without formal infrastructure. This shift may redefine education as a flexible, data-informed experience, and one that's more aligned with how individual students learn best. Number one, ambient and invisible AI will quietly control our lives. Some of the most impactful AI systems won't be visible at all. Ambient AI refers to technology that operates in the background, observing behavior, predicting needs, and taking action without direct input. In smart homes, AI already adjusts lighting, temperature, and appliance settings based on user patterns. Voice assistants are evolving into proactive systems, suggesting reorders, calendar changes, or routine adjustments without being prompted. In transportation, Tesla's full self-driving FSD uses AI to make real-time decisions based on road conditions. While Apple is reportedly exploring AI integration in its car project for personalized autonomous driving features. At work, ambient AI may help suggest email replies, streamline meetings, or detect signs of fatigue. The goal isn't to eliminate user control, but to simplify everyday tasks without interruption. By 2030, these systems may be so embedded into daily life that users barely notice their presence, even as they become essential to how we live and work. What this means for you. By 2030, AI won't just be in your pocket, it'll be in your car, your home, your job, your doctor, and your creative tools. The breakthroughs we've talked about today are already underway, and they're changing industries from the ground up. No opinions, no predictions, just what's happening now and where it's leading. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.